everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clueless inspired makeup tutorial. For more information, look in the down bar below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys! As always, to start, I will be using my MAC Prep and Prime Primer. I will be applying that all over my face. All the eyeshadows I'll be using today are from the Naked 3 palette. To start with, we're going to take Strange and plait that onto the eyelid and then brush it up onto the bit under your eyebrow. Softly outline where you want your crease to start. Now going in with a mixture of dust and burnout, take those two and apply them in the hollow of your eye in a sweeping motion. Taking the first colour strange again, taking that on the fluffy brush and patting it back onto the eyelid just to make sure we keep with that colour. Going in with Nuna on that same fluffy brush, go in again to the hollow of your eyes to give it that more sculpted effect. The eyeshadows should look a little something like this when it's all blended and finished. Next you want to curl your eyelashes and apply a coat of mascara. I use the Rimmel London Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil and it worked pretty well for me. From here you want to be applying your false eyelashes if you choose to wear any. I chose to wear the Glam Eyes Tailor Lash because they're shorter in length and they give that really nice schoolgirl feel without looking too over the top. Going in with dust and burnout again, take that same fluffy brush and take it underneath your eyes just to clean up any fallen mascara or to blend out any smudges that you might have made when you're applying your lashes and your glue. And our eyes are done. Now onto the next part of the face. A girl's got to have eyebrows. I use the Hourglass Soft Brunette Eyebrow Sculpting Pencil and it is the best thing in the entire world. Now Cher in the movie did not have particularly thick eyebrows so you don't want to go over the top but do fill them in how you normally would and enhance your shape a little bit if you're that way inclined. Eyebrows are done. Now going in with a mixture of Revlon Colorstay in Buff and Max NW10 Foundation, I'm going to be applying both of them to my face. Time to highlight, I have used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette with Dim Light, Incandescent Light and Radiant Light to contour and highlight my face. When contouring for Cher's character, take your blush brush and sweep it in the Nike Tick motion around your cheekbones and up to the corner where your ear starts. That way it'll give you a nice glow and you won't be looking too harsh. Mm -hmm. 
for highlighting, I'm just going to take it the typical places for me. I always go on the tops where my cheekbones are, my temples, normally down my nose, on my forehead and a little bit on the edge of my chin. But it can just be up to you. Whatever your personal highlighting preference is, you should do that. But always remember not to go too overboard. You don't want to sparkle. Using Clinique's Precious Posy Blush, I will be taking that on the apples of my cheeks and taking that also where my contour line starts. You can use any rosy and light pink type of blush. I would recommend not using a peachy blush because where you place it, it might look muddy with your contour. If you'd like, you can also take the blush and put it on the arches of your eyebrows and under your lips. That way you look like you've been sun kissed and been outside during the day. The iconic Alicia Silverstone Mole. Now you want to go in on your left hand side. You want to put it somewhere where the arch of your eyebrow is to avoid it looking like a pimple mostly, but that's also where hers happens to be. I've brought it closer to my eyebrow because I'm using the eyebrow pencil that I used before just to keep it looking similar and not to make it look like a pimple. So go in with that and lightly do a dot and make it large to whatever size that you'd like. Now if you were going to do Iggy and Fancy for this video, you can do her mole on the right side of your chin, but closer to the lip line, but we're not doing that for now. Now to keep those eyebrows in place, I'm going in with my Benefit Gimme Brow in light medium. Now lip prep time, because I got foundation all over my lips, I'm going in with the Nivea Gentle Facial Cleansing Wipes. You can use any cleansing wipe that you'd like or any makeup remover, but that seems to work the best for me. Now with MAC's Lip Pencil Hip and Happy, I will be outlining and colouring in my lips. Now remember not to overdraw your lips too much here. She's not Kylie Jenner. She just had her very natural and small lips. Now going over that in Max Angel. This will help to keep your lips smooth all day long and to keep that colour strong. Now it wouldn't be Cher Horowitz without a little bit of lip gloss. I am going in with Revlon's Peony to give it that last finishing touch. And the makeup look is complete. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It has been an absolute blast doing this video. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave comments in the description or down bar below. I will always get around to replying to you guys and I'm so thankful for everyone that watches my videos. It really means so much. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.